Bartos asks, where do you see the coffee industry going in terms of gastronomy and coffee shops? That's a good question, the coffee industry. The coffee industry, first of all, I mean, it started from Ethiopia and places like that in that region, but now I think you have 80 countries producing coffee, so that's like, it's very, very, very global right now, right? So. I still think we're just here in terms of intense beans and in terms of the coffee culture. Reminds me of the wine business in the 90s. Exactly, so the mixing, I think we'll see more coffee and wine bars together I where agree. you have coffee in the cocktails. The way you see fresh juices going in with cocktails now, you, I think that will happen. You know what's so interesting? I've, I've been thinking of a concept of a bar that is just 24-7. Yeah. Because, and it goes from coffee to juices yeah. to tea to wine to post game, <laughs> to, yeah, I mean, like really, I think there's a really interesting model from a place that's open 5.30 a.m. to four in the morning in New yeah. York that is very hardcore structured around four to six different sure. afternoon tea, mm-hmm. right? Like coffee, juices, afternoon tea, wine. But all of those things have, what we're talking about here is they're having intense like flavors, right? Because that coffee and that juice is based on intensity. Yes. Espresso with fresh juice. Yes. Next to it, we'll say ginger and orange. So people today want intense flavor. They want smaller shots of something, but really intense. So that can be done. Wet bar or something. Just like it's just liquid. Are we thinking names now? I just want to open it. (laughs) I may. 